we gone? Are we good? Yes, we are. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, everybody. This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing great. I'm in a super good mood. I cannot believe that this is the finale. Well, it's about time. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, get your comment in because, you know, baby, next week is the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Oh, my God. When Kim Phil says, say something. I cannot wait. I'm, ooh, I can't. Ooh. I really just want to bypass this finale because it wasn't like freaking amazing and go straight to the reunion i think another reason why i wasn't really connecting with this finale was it was like christmasy themed and child is is mars you already know what i'm gonna say make sure to go ahead and get into feature points it is everything use my code down below go ahead and download the app accumulate the points and then cash it in for like paypal credit amazon gift cards list goes on and on and i freaking love it and also if you want to get it in with the march loser challenge make sure to send me an email it it's listed down below if you would like meal plans workouts exclusive video content from your girl and much much more it is moving along rather smoothly but you can still get it in i get that question a lot miss b oh my god it's almost the middle of the month can i still get in there? no child left behind well until mid-march i mean i, I gotta leave it's, it's mid-march this is the final week to go ahead and get in there yeah yeah with the march loser challenge let's go ahead and dive right in trey songs for this episode so phaedra wants to throw a nice little holiday party and she calls mr dwight because it's after her what her divorce tied in his little jacket i'm sorry i, I can't help it it's like todd is so get in my pocket he's pocketable so him and candy they're on their way somewhere and she's talking about oh my god i can't wait to have this baby i hope that my titties stay perky oh we're back at Fay Fay's house and portia comes over so that she can check on her she ain't seen her in a minute they start talking about the holiday party phaedra won't ail she want to do clogging we don't Oh my God, she was serious. She done hit up Christine, aka Christopher, because you know he be getting it with the tap and he be just challenged. We are back in the car with the Tuckers and they're just talking about how, you know, life has become full circle and they were going to go see Todd's mom at the cemetery. You know what, how they were doing the footage and how they can go back. I just thought that that was really, really nice that Todd has something to hold on to. Even if it was drama filled and extraness going on, he at least has something of his mother like live sad but at the same time it's just amazing how you know life is full circle <sighs> i just feel like that sometimes with life how life is so eerily amazing like something so tragic can happen but then a blessing can like come out of nowhere to make you not forget about what happened but make you more grateful and to stay present so hopefully with their union even though i talk a lot about candy and little todd hopefully with their union they stay together and you know they enjoy their child in the moments that they have together because you don't get that back we are back at the parks residence i was like can we stay at one residence of the other all this back and forth this yakety yak i can't you know portia is on dish nation and she gets all the tea honey so she had to come directly to the source la, la, la. uh phaedra did you hear that the feds needed to seize apollo's motorcyclables they Fe was like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Fei Fei a lie, are you? She couldn't even look Portia directly in the eye. She, she couldn't look at us in the camera. Now, y'all know Apollo owes the government and they want to seize all of his valuables and the motorcycle a is one of them. Lord, Peter and Cynthia had shot too. I said, well, damn, Apollo turned into where is Waldo with his belongings. He said, look at here. I know X, Y, and Z, so I'm going to put all this shit and divvy it up between all the people that I know. Try to find it. Oh, Matt, you know, Kenya's new beau, got her some new velvets. New, new little dolls. You remember velvet? R.I.P. to little velvet. I like little velvet. I did. It. She kind of kept Kenya. No, she didn't keep her saying a bunch of shit happened when velvet was alive. Lord, <laughs> Kenya named the dogs. King and Twirl. I'm done. I, I cannot. I'm fit. King was okay. Twirl? I can't. Come here, Twirl. I can't. No. Mm -mm. no. Ah. Okay, that's your dog. That's not my dog. Oh, she cannot pick an outfit for the Christmas party. She grew up Jehovah's Witness. So the whole Christmas thing and, oh my God, I don't know. Girl, get you a red dress or something sparkly and get the hell on. No, she want to be the Grinch who stole edges. She has to be extra. I cannot. Kenya, I know you can put two and two together, ma'am. It's a Christmas party. 
That's how you have to, you can wear green, you can wear anything. Ha! Huh? You don't have to be a character. Of course, she wants to talk to Matt about Apollo and the feds. He don't know Matt. Uh-uh. He doesn't. I don't. Uh, you know, she always got to stir the pot. She the first one want to taste it. Uh-uh, no, this needs some more drama. Uh-uh, uh, nope, mm -mm, it's not messy enough. Girl, I was shocked, too, that Apollo didn't store nothing at our house. We go to Cynthia's, and she's setting up to give Peter a nightly rubdown. Full masseuse style. Mallory is there helping her move furniture. I was like, oh, shit, like, you are serious. You rented out the tables and everything. I was like, okay. After setting up, Mallory was like, okay, I'm... Um, oh my god, oh my god, this is nasty. I don't want to see this. I don't want to uh, call me later, girl. Peter walk in there. He's like, this is for me. <laughs> I want to thank God who was the end of my life. I can't oh my god. He was so excited. I said, Polo Pete, Polo Tink Tink. But Peter, I'm still not giving you a pass for earlier in the season when you just want to fill on up on girls' titties. I don't have, uh uh, I'm not. Sorry. Cynthia wants to work it on out. And she's like, and you can, you know, go ahead and disrobe. And he's like, oh shit, let me take off everything. And I'm, Peter, we don't need to see your little Peter. I don't want to see that. Uh uh, stop. And then next time, don't just hop up on the massage table and kick it Peter all in his nutsack. Can you not do that? I was like, Cynthia, girl, you gotta be smooth. What are you doing? Oh my God. Then out of nowhere, they start hearing sounds. I knew it was little Noel. Where's Leon? Leon was there out of nowhere. I said, Leon, I want to exhale. But after that, I was like, what the hell are you guys doing here? Cynthia, uh, you just canceled the wet dream. You canceled it. I, I cannot with Cynthia. She tries, but it just didn't. The portion her sister go to the OBGYN so that she can check on her eggs and see if they're still scrambleable, 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 frittata. Okay. Oh, 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 I wanted that jacket that Portia had on. You know, I love me a bad jacket. I'm a jacketologist. I, oh, I loved it. She wants a baby and bad, and she wants to make sure that she can still have a baby because a baby, a baby, uh, because she had some fibroids removed and she's scared that they are coming back. They did a Cordell Kunta flashback. I was like, bleh, bleh. when the nurse asked her, when was your last menstrual? She was like, hmm. Uh, 1999. I don't know. I know I had one though. Christ the Savior is born. Help her. Help her. I think this is the time in Portia's life where she just needs to keep finding herself, keep growing, do that business, stay on Dish Nation, make your checks, and then when you feel like it, go ahead and have a baby and get married. Oh, uh, hello again, Dwight. We haven't seen you in a long time, but I did see that episode. I can't remember. What's it called? Plat something plastic where he got his nose fixed hallelujah because it looked painful on these last couple of seasons but anyway he was in full blueberry attire getting everything ready for the party it's always great seeing Dwight I enjoy Dwight's antics and I also enjoy Phaedra's antics with all the extraness I'm very extra and dramatic so I got it I understood it now as far as having like a big ass party I enjoy going to parties but throwing them not so much speaking of the party it is time for it I could not with Miss Juicy Baby. I couldn't. Every time I see her, I, I don't know what it is, but she be laughing. I start laughing and I'm just, I can't. Lil Aiden is the elf on the shelf. I said, that is perfect. And he's talking. I loved it. The old lady gang singing Christmas carols. I said, now that's different. Bob is Santa. But he got a little pimp swag with him. I was like, okay, Bob. Candy and Ty show up and of course, you know, she pregnant with the baby. She want to sit down. Oh my God, I need some punch. Oh, Candy. Sheree comes and she is shocked that Bob want to stuff her stocking. Girl, he been wanting to Yes, Portia with the thigh and ass out. You know what? I have to give it to Portia this season. She's just been doing it. Good job. They sitting there like, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. You would do it too, bitch. You would. Tammy is back with the Thor. Yes, with the braids. Tammy. <laughs> Cynthia and Uncle Ben come, Nene and Gregory, Kim and Herbay. When Nene saw Juicy, I... <sighs> ah! Sorry. Nene and Dwight, fake. Like, I could not... You ever see somebody and they see somebody and you see them see each other, you like, they fake as hell. Like, it was so fake. I couldn't even... Just fake. 
Tammy and Bob see each other in the cut, and here comes Sheree. And I'm sitting here like, look at look. I thought you didn't want him to have your cookies. Why are you so pressed, Sheree? <laughs> Bob, can you answer one question? Did you sleep with Tammy? Tammy was like, oh my God, did we? Can you tell her we didn't sleep together, Bob? Come on, Bob. Y'all remember on Martin? What was the dude's name where he'd go, hey, Martin? <laughs> she reminds me of him. I can't. When the question popped up, Bob was sweating so bad, and it wasn't even, is this velvet? He was sweating. Tammy was like, come on, Bob. Tell the truth, Bob. Bob is like, you know what? I, it's so hot in here. Like, I got brain trauma. You know, something is really wrong with Bob. Like, I don't know if it's the eye, but he be coming up with stuff. Something wrong with Bob. Out of nowhere, here comes the Grinch who stole edges. Kenya Moore, full out deck the halls with green, looking like the Grinch. Everybody like, what the hell? We have regular clothes. But it fits. I mean, everybody was like, you know what? Let her wear that because it fits. I was like, you know, that's the truth. Uh -uh. Bob and Sheree kissing. Here's some other questions that we wanted to know. Did Todd get his full check? No. Fei Fei was being petty and gave him half of the check. Half of the final amount of the check. I was done because I guess the other half went to getting the party together. I, I don't know. Uh, Todd, um, go on, get over it. Just go ahead and get over it. Candy is still sitting in the cut on her phone. And here comes Nene like, girl, get off your phone. I want to talk to you about something. Because you didn't come to Jamaica. And you weren't in the commercial. So I was just thinking like, what's going on with us? Candy was like, I, you know, and I feel like sometimes. And it ain't even that serious. So they squash it. And I really don't know why they don't like each other to begin with. I guess their personalities just don't mix. You ever met somebody and it's nothing wrong with them. Or you, it's just your personalities don't Go together and that's fine they say they're gonna start over i was like yes start over and hush please you're getting on my nerves because you fight about nothing and yeah it's talking to sheree and somebody and she brings up the feds and i'm like girl you are in the perfect attire why in the hell are we talking about this right now huh. nene brought it up to the candy i was like what can we have one event where it ain't no drama? But then we wouldn't be watching it. Fei Fei was like, uh, my divorce. Everybody, can you join hands? Because we're getting ready to do the river dance. Um, you know what? I just loved how Kim was rah rah reptile for her man. She was like, yes, daddy. Yes. Everybody was like. This season finale was weird. It was very weird. It was awkward. It was all over the place. Of course, they did the wrap-ups at the end. Candy and Todd, little baby Ace made it into the world in January. Um, Portia is going to be a new cast member on Celebrity Apprentice. Um, all right, I can't get over Vivica Fox with Kenya. Bounce! Speaking of Kenya, more manner is almost done still. Okay, I saw a commercial for this. The day Kim is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. We're going to keep praying for Cynthia Chow. And you know what? We're going to keep praying for Jazzy Faye. For this reunion, it's going to be some shit. Ooh, I can't wait. Say something. Oh my God, I can't wait. Down below in the comment section, let me know what did you think about this season, season finale. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.